I'm high, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm high, yeah, yeah, yeah. With a bowl like that, you know it can't be bad. <laughs> Dude, this is shit. Happy 10th anniversary, Bumpski. You rock. Happy anniversary, Bumpski from Dove Alperin. Yay. Happy anniversary, Bumpski. Hey, this is Joey from the band Stars Go Dim, and we want to wish Bumpski a happy 10th anniversary of broadcasting only indie music on the internet. Happy anniversary, Bumpski, from the Omatics. We need Bumpski. We all need Bumpski. Jerry, you stupid bitch! Play some indie music right now and shut up! Jerry, you stupid dick. Shut up and play some independent music <laughs> now. <laughs> Jerry, you dumbass penis. Shut up and play some independent music, please. Jerry, Jerry you, you stupid, stupid dick. dick. Shut, shut up and play some, some independent, independent music. music. Jerry, you stupid dick! Shut up and play some independent music. Jerry, you dick! Shut up and play some independent music. Jerry, you're very, you're a very nice man. Would you please play some independent so music? So it goes like, Jerry, you stupid dick, play some independent music? Jerry, you dick, play some independent music. You know what else we love just as much, or maybe even more than playing shows? We love being on Bumpski Radio. Look at that. That's what we love. We love hey, Bumpski. This is Keith Bridges, and you're locked on Bumpski. This is David Newbold, and you're listening to Bumpski. Bumpski, the home of independent music. Hi, I'm John Tagliari, and you're listening to Bumpski. You're listening to Bumpski Radio. You're listening to Bumpski Radio. You're listening to Bumpski Radio. You are li li listening to. Bumpski Radio. Bumpski, the home of independent music. Bumpski, the home of independent music. That's what. Well, that's what's great about Bumpski. It's like it's an outlet for independent music. If right. you're tired of hearing the mainstream garbage that everything sounds the same, you put up, you know, punch up a Bumpski. Every you know, song's gonna sound different. Yeah, a it's lot all about variety. A lot of songs out there just makes you wanna. This is John Tagliari thanking you for supporting independent music by listening to Bumpski Radio. This is Kathy Fleischman thanking you for supporting independent music by listening to Bumpski Radio. This is Scotty Sack, the Dave Haywood Band, Jerry Bumpski and Indie Radio. Rock. This is Mark O'Matic thanking you for supporting independent music by listening to Bumpski Radio. Bumpski, the, the home, home of independent, independent music. Radio. Supposed to say this is oh, Rob. I'm sorry, I'm retarded. Jerk. You know that. I'm so stupid. This is Forever Falling. Thank you for supporting independent music by listening to Bumpski Radio. You're, You're listening, listening to the Bumpski Show. <laughs> Yeehaw! You okay. wanted the best. You got the best. <laughs> You're listening to Bumpski. <laughs> What's up? Welcome to today's therapy session. This is the Bumpski Show. Yo, yo, yo. All right. <sighs> Yesterday I had an Annie Minogue magnet on my microphone stand and I already lost it. Bumpski found it and I already lost it. I was going to go. Next week, Annie Minogue will be on the show, and I lost it, so I'm going to have to look for it tomorrow. It sucks getting old. You lose shit, you drop shit, your body falls apart. Yep. 
It's not easy. It's not easy. But this old man did a lot of work today. I worked on uh, some music from like uh, 23 years ago. If you're new to the show and you're not aware, uh, the Bumsky Show is in its 24th season. And we're on show number 330 just of this season. That's not total shows. That's the show for season 24. 330 this year so far. And still going. So uh, we've been on for 24 years on September 25th. The day that Annie Minogue is scheduled to be on the show. AnnieMinogueBand.com Go check out Annie Minogue. Uh, we'll be wrapping up our 24th year of broadcasting on the internet and celebrating with Annie. Or at least I'll be celebrating. Annie probably doesn't give a shit, but I'll be celebrating on September 25th. My 24th year of broadcasting, I'll be wrapping up. And I'm a guy that everybody told me the first week, eh, Jerry, you're not going to last a week. Who cares about this? Nobody cares about this. Nobody's going to go on the internet and watch movies. Nobody's going to go on the internet and watch TV. Nobody's going to go on the internet and watch some guy from his condominium do a show. What are you, out of your ever-loving mind? Yeah, I guess I was. <laughs> I guess I am. <laughs> yep, I'm out of my ever-loving mind. That's for sure. Because I'm still doing it. And people have uh, made tons of money off of doing this. And I haven't made a penny. In fact, I've spent every penny I ever had. Either on my children or on the show. And a little bit of weed. And that's about it. So I made a full lifetime commitment to this show. And uh, I'm the only person that did. In fact, this guy I'm going to play right now. This guy. Bumsky and I love this guy. This guy used to come over the house and play video games just to escape everything, which was what made us feel the best. Because the whole idea of the Bumsky show was to give the artists a chance to get away from everything and just be themselves. So this guy used to come over, he, he gigged every night of the week, you know, and just to escape, he would come over here and play video games with Bumsky while I was doing the show. <laughs> I think the big one was Star Wars. They used to play the Star Wars on Xbox, and the two of them would be playing video games while I was doing the show. So he also he, he used to call me on his way home from gigs. Just so I could keep him awake and focused because he was either drunk or tired or so I would, you know, help him stay focused on driving and stay awake. And a lot of shows we did from the time he left his gig until the time he got home. So always a friend of the show. Haven't spoken to Dave in probably I think the last time I spoke to Dave Haywood. DaveHaywood.net is the website. Eh, probably maybe 10 years ago, Bumsky and I uh, were taking a trip to Key West, Florida, and we knew that Dave played in a piano bar in Charlottesville, North Carolina. So we tracked down the bar, and we just showed up. We didn't even know we were coming. And that was the last time I saw Dave. Uh, no, that's not true. We saw him up here in New Jersey, I think once or twice after that. And Dave's been up here a whole bunch of times, but Dave comes up, he's got like all these friends, he's got his family, he's got, you know, he's got things to do. He doesn't need to be bothered with this show. Really, Jerry? You think you're that important? We're not that important. All we are... Excuse me one second. All we are are a bunch of people trying to spread peace, love, and happiness around the world. Trying to get people to talk to each other again. And trying to uh, change the world. That's it. That's all we're trying to do. 
So what do you say we do some uh, Dave Haywood? Let's do a little Dave Haywood concert live in the living room. And now one of the times Dave actually bought his whole band up. And that's the, uh, the songs I'm going to play right now. So we'll do a nice little set of Dave. This is actually live from the living room, believe it or not. And we had a little help from uh, Don't Touch My Hair. Russ, a little help from Russ, Mr. Don't Touch My Hair. And this one's called Funky Tree. Dave Haywood, live from the living room. live from the living room that one's called funky tree and uh what do you say we do a little all i want is you davehaywood.net this is dave haywood live from the bumpski living room this is the first song they did so we were getting like sound levels and stuff like that so the beginning's a little not perfect and then it's perfect Forever after 
one is you, live from the living room. What do you say we push our luck, we go for one more? Why not, Jerry? It's your show. What the hell? Do whatever you want. Okay, here's Dave Haywood. A place in your heart, also live from the living room. Hit it, Dave. Dave Haywood. Um, James Rosaccia. Um, Sergei Arangera. I think that was it. Dave Haywood. I never felt so weak in my life. Emptiness is wearing me down. Seven long years gone in five short minutes. You haven't come around. Where did my faith go wrong? Or was I just unprepared? The more that I doubt is the more that I'm certain something was just not fair. Everyone has a place in their heart for love. Everyone has a place in their heart for love. I was close. Sergio Aranguren.
Steve Haywood, a place in your heart. And I'm going to have to give away a little secret there. There was a little bit more than Sergio Arangarin uh, playing the bongos. Because if it sounded like four hands, it was. Because <laughs> uh, Sergio was playing one bongo and Dave was playing another bongo. <laughs> so there you go, a little behind the scenes trick. So that was uh, A Place in Your Heart. We heard Funky Tree and All I Want Is You. All live from the living room, all Dave Haywood. Incredible, huh? I kind of feel like I want to stick with the whole um, love theme. What do you say we play uh, something that's kind of uh, brand new? In fact, Bumsky and I just purchased the vinyl of this band, and this song is on it. And it's a band called the Harlem Gospel Travelers. Now, if you're new to the show... And I want to explain this because I sit here and I watch people listen for 10 seconds and then leave. The thing about this show is I play all different kinds of music. So maybe if you're tired of your Spotify playlist or your Amazon playlist or whatever playlist you listen to, this is like the good old days where some old fart would sit around and play all different kinds of music. So you get exposed to different genres of music. So I'm the old fart playing the different kinds of music. So we, we went from funky rock Dave Haywood, and we're now going to go to uh, the gospel-tinged Harlem Gospel Travelers. So let's take it to church with We Don't Love Enough, Ain't That the Truth? This is the Harlem Gospel Travelers off of their brand new released collection called Rhapsody. We don't love enough. Amen. Oh, <laughs> 
the Harlem Gospel Travelers. We don't love enough, that's for sure. This is This Love. Ashley Flynn and the Riveters, keeping the love going. Ashley Flynn and the Riveters, This Love. this love and this is the ace of cups and of course we all know that we were all made for love aceofcups.com ashley flynn and the riveters.com
Ace of Cups. We were made for love. I don't know if you could tell, but Ace of Cups have uh, some pretty famous friends. Singing background on that, Jackson Brown. I saw a picture of Jackson in the video. Also, uh, I saw David Bowie. I saw Bob Weir. So Ace of Cups got some friends. Made for love. We were made for love. I was made for love. You were made for love. What the hell happened? Anybody know what happened? I don't know what happened. But I will say this. this. Whatever happened, we did it. So the question has to be, what have we done? Allie McGurk asking the very same question. What have we done? AllieMcGurk.com Live from the Sinclair and I don't know where. Allie McGurk, what have we done?
What have we done? All right, let's pick it up a little bit. This is Melina Moye. And let's start jumping. You ready to jump around? You ready for a little jumping? This goes out to Bumski. Melina Moye, jumping. Oh, you 
So that's Twin Flames Radio. Just go to BamtasticSilver.com. That's BamtasticSilver.com. And check out Twin Flames Radio. You could also find Bubble over there. And you could even find some cool silver jewelry. Wow. Pretty amazing, huh? Hey, look who I found. I found Annie. Annie Minogue. That's right, Eddie Minogue. Next um, Wednesday. Yeah, what's today? Yep, next uh, Wednesday. Well, a week from today, because it's Wednesday right now. It's actually uh, uh, somewhere almost 12.30 a.m. on Wednesday morning. So, yeah, next Wednesday. Annie Minogue. She has a new collection of music out. Uh, we play now on the show. I'm not sure what else is on it. I guess I should uh, find out. I thought Annie might send me some of the songs. But uh, I know the last time I had Annie on, she really didn't play, I don't think. I think I played some of her music. So I got Annie's old music. We could play that. We could see what she remembers from coming up to the show. And I could show her that I still have her magnet. Annie Minogue from uh, 23 years ago. 23-year-old magnet. Look me. All right. Don't forget, be good to each other, take care of each other, love each other, respect each other. If you can't do all those things at once, start with respect. Then care about somebody, because if you respect them, then you might care about them, right? And then if you care about them, if they get hurt or something happens, you might care for them, right? Take care of them, right? Then if that happens, you might love them. And I don't mean in a physical or perverted way. I mean in a way that one human being loves another human being. I love you, man. I love you, man. Like that. Pretty simple, right? 
Doesn't take a lot of effort. Mm, but it does. It's not quite that simple. But once you do do that, you've rejected the government Kool-Aid, you've rejected the corporate Kool-Aid, and you've even rejected the media Kool-Aid. And I'm proud of you. That means you're not for Harris, you're not for uh, Biden, you're not for Trump. You're not for any of these idiots. You're for what's right and what's moral. And none of those guys are for any of that stuff. None of those guys and gals. They're all for lining their pocket with money. That's all they're for. They're not for you, they're not for me, they're for them. And once we realize that, we'll be in so much better shape. But we're too stupid. What can I say? We're too stupid. It's a shame, but hey, what are we going to do? All right. God willing, I'll be here tomorrow. So that's something to look for. Look forward to. <laughs> Woohoo, Jerry's back. Woo. Peace. Peace. Get busy living or get busy dying. That's goddamn right. If you could stand for our national anthem, that would be fantastic. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars God bless the USA.